people that's clued up that you walk and say, I've never seen this before in real life. Other people would just say, I've never seen this before. My name is Gerard Rijksen and I'm driving my VW SP from 1976. First time I saw uh, one, it was a cream one that a friend of mine got. Uh, I fell in love with this car, and uh, back then we only knew of the one that was uh, in South Africa. There were rumors of this car, so uh, nobody knew where it was or if it existed, and by chance I got to find this car and I knew it will be mine one day. The day that I heard about this car, it was late at night, about past nine, just before 10. I thought, oh well, let me just sort of phone him right now. Bad time of night, I phoned the guy. And Luckily he answered his phone. And I asked him about the car that I thought it was. Yeah, and he said to me, yeah, sure, he's got the car and this and this. And the conversation went on for about five or so minutes. And then he said, yes, the SP is parked in the basement at my work. And the moment he said SP, I knew this is the car I've been looking for and been wanting for many years. So I was there the next morning and it was one of my excited, most excited days of my life. I walked into that basement and there's this car. In total it stood 10 years in that basement. Um, I moved it from the position, the bay it was because of the water dripping on it. And then it took me another five years to convince them the previous owner uh, that I'm the new owner of this car and then I started bugging this poor gentleman uh, I want to buy this car I want to buy this car I phoned him once a month every month I said is my car still there he said yes I said thank you very much and I put the phone down because next month if I phone him and I want to make a long conversation he wouldn't want to take my call so the secretary would put me through and I said, is my car still there? And he said, yes. I said, thank you very much. That carried on for five years. So after five years, I said, my car still there? He says, yes. I said, thank you. He says, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I said, okay. He said, I spoke to my brother. I think uh, I'll sell you the car. So there was five years of convincing to get the car. I never owned a sports car before. Uh, I was always a sensible like a station wagon. I love station wagons. So I always had a station wagon. No, no, I didn't have a family, but I've got dogs. Always had dogs. And then I bought this, got in and drove it out there. And that feeling of, yeah, this is, this is something else. And knowing that the chances of finding another one in South Africa is very slim. So I've owned this car now for 16 years and I haven't seen, we only know of the three that's in South Africa. previous owner. He went to Brazil for business and he saw the car there, brand new, and he discussed it with the VW guys there and they said it's not going to be exported to South Africa. He said, but I want one. And the guys there said, no problem, we'll send you one. And the story goes that uh, the car arrived in South Africa in a container 
and he was uh, told to come fetch the car and on some way or another he managed to sneak it out there and he got his car. That's how it came into South Africa. So basically this car is based on the same chassis than the VW Type 3 was. Uh, same running gear, so it's, it comes down to a Beetle, just a little bit longer. It's sitting a bit lower, uh, although the car looks really low, the ground clearance is very high. The engine is a similar engine to the Beetle, it's the same uh, sub assembly. Although the arrangement, the fans and all that, the whole cooling system is a flat uh, configuration like in the Type 3s and similar to what the later model combis had but still on a Beetle sub assembly. So it's not a combi engine as some people would say. It's not a normal 1600 as what the uh, Beetles had. It's got uh, 1700 so it's slightly upgraded from what uh, the Beetle was. No, it's not a race car and it's not fast. It's a more sporty drive and feel than what your Beetle would be. Still a four-speed gearbox, nothing fancy. Uh, everything like you would get in a 1976 model car and what an awesome drive it is just absolutely relaxing the seating position you, i can sit there all day so if you say let's go to cape town now i'm in so my happiest day kind of two days the day that I first saw it and the day that I went to pick it up it was covered in dust dust this thick on it uh, it looked like it was on fire as you drove it and all this dust that just blew off of it um, and uh, I got in drove it out of there got to the first car wash cleaned it a bit and then hit the road after 10 years in the basement, I got in the car and I drove it 400 kilometers. So yeah, that was, that, that was one of my best drives ever in any car. Did you know that we also sell really awesome car themed merchandise? Check out our range of custom t-shirts and prints at our online store now. Simply click on the square box on your screen and we'll take you there or the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.